Somo ambalo litakuwa kidogo ni tata lakini Bwana akupe neema kulielewa. Sema amen. It will be hard but God give you grace to understand. Unajua you know, hakuna kitu kibaya kama There's no evil thing like kujipumbaza to make yourself foolish. Katika eneo in a place la kiroho. That is spiritual. Na hakuna kibaya zaidi kama kujifanya kukataa as making yourself to deny kwamba hakuna uchawi that there's no witchcraft upo. while it is there. Mtu mmoja alisema siku moja Ni afadhali umwamini Mungu hata kama hujamuona siku ukiondoka mbinguni ukamkuta kuliko usimwamini alafu siku ya siku ukamkuta yupo Fahamu za kawaida tu hizo za mtu wa duniani alikuwa anasema hivyo Na mimi nisema hivi ni hatari sana kusema kwamba hakuna uchawi wakati upo na unafanya kazi kwa uzoefu wangu in my usefulness wa maisha ya kumtumikia Bwana of the life of serving god nimekutana na mapambano ya uchawi ana kwa ana i've met with attacks of which god faced to face taarifa za kwenye biblia let go of the biblical news lakini kukabiliana nao ana kwa ana nimekutana nao but them face to face na wengine walikimbia and others ran away wengine walianguka mbele yangu akaomba msaada others fell before me and asked for help sizungumzia bali ya nyumbani mwa Mungu kama hapa i'm not speaking of the news of the place of god like this nimekutana na nguvu za giza i've met the power of darkness nimeshaonyesha mara nyingi i've shown you a lot of times kumaza kwangu nyuma namna ambavyo nilipigwa kwenye mkono hapa how i was attacked on the hand nikiwa mali wato wakawacha mpaka na alama ya kovu and they left a mark of a scar kwa hiyo napokuja kuzungumza habari ya nguvu za giza. So when I come to speak of the power of darkness, I understand. Napopambana katika ulimwengu wa roho na roho zichafu. I understand it. Kwa hiyo ogopa kukaa mahali ambapo. So fear to stay in a place that. Hawajui kufanya vita vya kiroho. They don't know how to explain. Lakini hawazungumzi. But they are not speaking. Ubaya wa ibilisi. The evilness of them. Ubaya wa kishetani. The evilness of the devil. Hasa katika eneo la kichao. Especially in the witchcraft areas. Kujifunza learning habari za nguvu za giza na uchawi of the power of darkness and witchcraft sio kitu kibaya it's not an evil thing mara moja moja sio kitu kibaya in once it's not a bad thing na haimaanishi kwamba tunaama katika doctrine ya kikristo hapana it doesn't mean that we're shifting from a christian doctrine sababu hata yesu alipokutana because even jesus when he met na makaburini pale with a person with a great name he jina lako na he asked him what is your name anataka kujua walioko ndani yake he wanted to know who was with him anataka kujua wanatendaje kazi he wanted to know how they were jina lako nani what is your name akasema jina langu jesh he said i'm an armor kwa kuwa pepo wengi wamemuingia because a lot of unclean spirits got to anza kupiga And they started screaming. Unasema usituamuru tutoke huko ndani. Say don't command us to come out. But if you command us, tupeleke kwenye maji. Don't take us to the water. Tupeleke baharini. Don't take us to the sea. Tuamuru tukaje kwa wale nguruwe. They why don't you get to the sea? The demons were speaking. Nguvu zote zinaongea. The power was speaking. Si mara moja, si mara mbili. Not once or twice. Yesu anauliza hivyo vitu. Jesus was asking of those things. Akalipokuta yule mama amepinda ana kibiongo. When he met that woman that was bent down. Akaona kwamba ni ugonjwa wa kawaida. He didn't see it as a normal disease. Aliona ni uonevu wa nguvu za giza. He saw that it was the destruction of the power of darkness. Ni uonevu wa kishetani. The destruction of the devil. Amemfanya yule mwanamke apinde namna hiyo. That made that woman to bend down like that. Hayo ni mambo ya kuelewa ndugu zangu. There are things to understand brethren. Hayo ni mambo ya kufahamu. There are things to recognize. Lakini hata kwa watumishi wa Mungu. But even to the servants of God wenza wakaanza vizuri kazi they can start work well. kama hawajakaa kwenye maombi sawa sawa if they've not stayed in prayer kama hawajakaa well. na Mungu namna hii if they've not stayed with god like this, safari, in the journey anaweza kubadilika they may be destroyed anaweza kawa mbaya they may be evil ukamuona wewe kama mtumishi lakini kumsikia and you see them as a minister but he's not a minister oh yes inawezekana kabisa it is possible completely nenda kamuulize balamu atakwambia go and ask balamu to tell you kitabu cha hesabu sura ya 22 na 23 in the book of number 22 verse 23 reading only time the man was a He alikuwa nabi. Balam was the prophet. Balam alikuwa nabi. Na Mungu alikuwa anasema naye. And God was speaking to him. Kipindi fulani akamwambia nenda kanilaanie. And at a certain time he told them go and pass. I mean Balak Balak mfalme akaenda kwa kwa Balam. Balak went to Balam. Anaona wanaweza ile wanakuja kwa Kas. He saw the children of Israel coming in speed. Wanatoka Misri wanavamia nchi. They came from Egypt and they came into the city. Alafu anakwenda kwa Balam anamwambia to Balam and told him Najua wewe ni mtumishi wa Mungu I know you are a servant of God Mungu ni wale adui zangu Kiss my enemies Alipotoka alipofika pale When he arrived there Kilima akaangalia And he looked Na huko nyuma kamuelekeza vizuri kabisa And back there he instructed him well He said so that I cast your enemies 
built for me several cows. cows. And every altar put several cows. Balak did the same as he was told by Prophet Balak. When he went to Keres, he was a prophet. He went to Keres. He was looking like this. And God showed him, those are my people. I have blessed them. I have lifted them. I have given them victory where they come from. He went back and gave a prophet to Balak the king. Say, how do I curse people who are blessed by God? In that time he was still a prophet. But in the journey, he changed. And he was a normal witch, a normal sorcerer. May God help you to understand. May God help you to understand. This is a time that God stops speaking to the prophet and speaks to the donkey. The donkey speaks through his mouth. It's mouth. Not everyone before you. Look at their lives. Where they started and where they are heading to. When I say the prophet, it's not of the title. The prophet as the message of God. Any minister of God is a prophet of God. Is a message of God. The prophet is a message of God. The prophet speaks on behalf of God. The prophet sees on behalf of God for the people. They can be an apostle, they can be a pastor, they can be a prophet by the title, they can be an apostle by the they can be a pastor. They can be a pastor. They can be a pastor. List all the names that you know. But, look at the end. And the word says, Waigeni, Copy them. Follow those who are leading. Mwisho, and at the end, igeni imani yao. you should build the faith. Mwisho, copy igeni, the faith. At the end, yao. copy Angalia the faith. Mwisho. Look at the end. How does he conclude in faith? He started this, mwisho, but at Angalia the end. end Look at how he moves on. Feather, when he gets money, how is he? Anapokuwa amekosa fedha anakuaje? How is he? Anapokuwa na cloud kubwa ya watu anakuaje? Anapokuwa na watu wachache wamekuwa anakuaje? How is he? Lazima ulijue hilo. You must know that say amen. Tusianze kuangalia watu kwanza wa nje. Eh, you know, uh -uh. Maandiko yanasema adhabu ya Mungu itaanzia nyumbani mwa Mungu. God will start in the house of the Lord. The one who doesn't want to get his spiritual faith, he doesn't want to rest him, says he's the servant of God. Look what is the secret. You may find that he is a concern of those things. When he starts to rest the leaves. Remember, God is the truth and the devil is a liar. God is the truth and the devil is a lie. So the truth is God and the lie is the devil. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. My message says recognizing witchcraft. Biblically, I'm not teaching ways of how to make it. No, that it is there. Witchcraft has been refused within the Bible a lot of times. And this shows that God is not pleased in the witchcraft actions. Hafurai is not pleased the behavior of witchcraft. If we build a foundation in 1 Samuel chapter 15 and verse 23 1 Samuel chapter 15 and verse 23 the word of God reads Kwani kuasi Kwani kuasi ni kama dhambi ya uchawi na ukaidi ni kama ukafiri na vinyago kwa kuwa umelikataa nyo la Bwana eh naye amekukataa wewe usiwe mfalme ah ilikuwa ni maneno 
these were words ya Samueli, of Samuel anamwambia Sauli he was telling Saul lakini angalia nabii wa Bwana Samueli but look at the prophet of God Samuel ambavyo anawasilisha ujumbe wake how he was bringing his message kwa mfalme Sauli to the king Saul anafananisha uasi he compares rebellion na uchawi with witchcraft anasema kwani kuasi ni kama dhambi ya uchawi uchawi ni kuasi na uasi ni, ni uchawi sema na mimi uchawi ni uasi and witchcraft is rebellion na uasi ni uchawi and rebellion is witchcraft sema tena mhm mm tena kwa sauti yako aha kwa nguvu tena Mhm. Aha. Tunapoasi tunafanya uchawi. When we rebel we do witchcraft. Tunapofanya uchawi tunamwasi. We do witchcraft. We rebel against God. Ikiwa tunamwasi Mungu. If we rebel against God. Maana yake atupo katika position ya kutetewa na Mungu. We are not in the position of being the Lord. Sisi zote Mungu amekuwa akiwapinga wachawi. At times God has been rebuking the witches. Mungu amekuwa akishughulika na wachawi wakati wote. Dealing with witches in all times. Kwa sababu hawa ndio wanaozuia. Because they are the ones that obstruct. Maisha ya wanafamilia. The lights of the family members. Ndio wanaozuia. They are the ones that obstruct. Maisha ya mtaa usika. The life of a certain. Ndio wanaozuia. They are the ones that obstruct. Mafanikio ya jimbo usika. Ndio wanaozuia maendeleo ya taifa usika. That the ones that obstruct the progress Lazima of the nation. Lazima uelewe. You must understand. Ndio wanaozuia kukua. That the ones that obstruct kwa kanisa usika. Of a certain church. Kwa kuna makanisa yameduma. You find there are churches that are stunted. Hayapigi hatua. They don't take a step. Ukichunguza nani? When you search within. Utakuta nani wamejaa wa asi. They are full of rebellion. They are full of witchcraft and more than normal. Aya nayo zungumza. What I'm speaking. Utanielewa tu. You will understand. Lakini lolote liwalo. But anyhow. Maisha yako lazima yawe huru na familia yako leo. Your life and your families must be free today. Sema amen. Say amen. Sema amen. Say amen. Kama maandiko yanataja. If the scriptures list. Yana record na kutambua. They record and recognize. Uchawi upo. Witchcraft is there. Na unafananishwa na uwasi. And it is compared to rebellion. Kwa ni uwasi ni sawasawa na dhambi ya uchawi. It is like the blood of witchcraft. Paka po welewe kumbe uchawi ni dhambi. You know that witchcraft. Witchcraft is a wrong thing. The same. Katika mpango wa Mungu. In the plan of God. Anataka kufukuza uchawi ambao ni dhambi. He wants to chase witchcraft that is sin within our lives. Kitabu cha Isaya sura ya kwanza. The book of Isaiah chapter 1. Mstari wa 2. In verse 2. Na kujengea msingi wa somo. I'm building a foundation of the message. Isaya sura ile ya kwanza. Isaiah chapter 1. Mstari wa 2. In verse 2. Anasema hivi. He says. Sikieni enyi mbingu. Tega sikio enchi. Kwa maana Bwana amenena. Nimewalisha watoto. Na kuolea. Nao wameniasi. Wameniasi wamefanya uchawi. They rebelled of Dan Wishcraft. Nimewalisha. I have fed them. Nimewapa vitu vizuri. I've given them good things. Nimewabariki. I have blessed them wanangu hawa wa kiroho lakini wao wameniasi have rebelled against me wao wameniacha have re left me wameniasi wameacha maneno yangu they have left my words wameacha njia zangu they have left my ways they followed other ways njia zingine they followed other ways wamefuata matendo mengine they followed other acts sikieni enyi mbingu tega sikio enchi kwa maana bwana amenena nimewalisha watoto na kuwalea nao wameniyas wameniyas they have rebelled against me kumbuka samueli anasema remember samuel is saying kwani kuasi rebellion ni sawa na dhambi ya uchawi it is like the sin of witchcraft kwani kuasi ni kama dhambi ya uchawi rebellion is like the sin of witchcraft anayeasi ni mchawi the one who rebels is a witch na mchawi ni mwasi and a witch is a rebeller Mwambie mwanzo tena mchawi ni mwasi. Tell your fellow the witch is a rebel. Na mwasi ni mchawi. And the one that rebels is a witch. Mwambie tena. Mhm. Mm Uwe hai. Be alive. Uwe hai. Be alive. Samueli wa kwanza. First Samuel. Sura ile ya 15. Chapter 15. Mstari wa 2. Verse 2. Samueli wa kwanza 15. First Samuel chapter 15. Samueli wa kwanza. First Samuel. 15 chapter 15 mstari wa 2 in verse 2 maandiko yanasema the word reads bwana wa majeshi asema hivi nimeyatia moyoni mwangu mambo hayo amaleki waliowatenda israeli 
jinsi walivyowapinga njiani hapo walipopanda kutoka Misri wakati wana wa Israel while the children of Israel wanatoka Misri they were coming out of Egypt walikutana vipinga vizi they met with a vingisana. lot of obstacles achana na uchawi ambao let go of the witch of that wana nao pale Misri they tackled in Egypt achana na uchawi wa farao na waganga wake and is so so lakini wakiwa njiani kuelekea nchi ya Amalek way to go to the promised land Amalek akisema naye amekuwa uzuri Amalek spoke to them Amalek akasimama kwa kinyume na wana wa Israel Amalek stood against the children of Israel anawapinga na Mungu anasema mapinga mizi yao their objections uchawi wao kuzuia kwao their obstructions nimetia moyoni mwangu I have remembered them nimetia moyoni mwao waliokuwa wanaozuia wasiendelee na kumbuka kazi ya mchawi ni kukuzuia remember the work of the witches to obstruct you kuzuia baraka zako to obstruct your blessing to obstruct your offspring kuzuia maendeleo yako to obstruct your progress kuzuia afya yako to obstruct your health hamna kitu kingine yani wewe usipigie tu ukimuuliza kwa hiyo unafanya haya wewe mchawi why are you doing that as a way minafanya tu you say i'm just doing it na wachawi wengi hawaendeleagi a lot of witches why you memloga huyu ah why have you been with this that we be the same huyu ana gari mimi sana tuwe sawa sawa this one has a car that we be huyu anafanika mimi sana tuwe sawa sawa this one is maybe uh, that we be the same miji mingi ambayo uchawi upo if you look upo. at a lot of cities where witchcraft haiendelei they do not progress haiendelei they do not progress miji mingi hata tanzania a lot of cities even tanzania nenda kusini nenda kaskazini mashariki magharibi angalia maeneo ambayo look at the places where kuna sifa za ushirikina there is the characters of witchcraft vijana wake hata kama wamesoma even if the youth have studied hawaendi kujenga kwao they don't build in the places unakuta nyumba ambazo zimejengwa you find the houses that are built ni za matope they are of mud na udongo juu wamezeka nyasi and au makuti grass on top na wakifika pale when they arrive there wanao hapa si kwa kwa bwana fulani ambaye ni mkurugenzi dar es salaam place of a certain person who is a director in dar es salaam ni mfanye biashara mkubwa yuko mwanza is a place of a great business how come the mona hapa pako pale yuko how come it is not understood here it is not him angalia nyumba ile nyumba ile wale wote wale wamefanikiwa huko waliko mjini they are prospered in the city why don't they come and build why don't they come and build Mwana nyumba ile imeshia kati. You see that house is Mwana kile kiwanja kile kimota manyasi. You see that plot has got. Yaani siku ananunua. Wazee walijikoki hapa wakasema akiendelee kitu. They say nothing will move on here. Akaanza kupata vituko. And he started Ile ambayo imeshia kati wakati wanajenga wajenzi walikuwa wanafukuzana manyoka mle ndani. Of how they were meeting snakes in there. Manyoka, manyoka, manyoka. Snakes. Kwa hiyo wanaogopa. So they fear. Kuja kuendeleza kwao wanaogopa. So the places they fear. Wanaogopa kulogwa. Wanaogopa kwa hiyo miji imekavyo huko waliko wana jumba mengi tu wana magari mengi tu lakini wakija hapo and cars but when they come here always kujenga they cannot build wakati mwingine wanatuma tu hela kwa wazazi wao times they just send money to their parents mama, go to the road kuna kibanda acha cha cha tigo pesa chukua tu hela hapo unaona tukitaka basi mimi nimebaa na kazi i have a lot of work anajua kitokea knows when he appears even if he anaweza kasirudi may not go back kanaweza kasirudi it may not go back kwa hiyo na ukiuliza kwa nini sasa namna hii ask why is it like this ye wajuzi tu hapa bwana kaza ni wajuzi tu hapa haya haiwezekani tuwe wote hivi hivi we should be together like this kwa jina la Yesu hayo mambo yafutike kwako huo uchawi uharibike mbele yako uteke tena Uwe hai. Be alive. Bwana anasema, Bwana wa majeshi asema hivi, nimeyatia moyoni mwangu mambo hayo amaleki aliyowatendea Israeli, aliyowatenda Israeli. Jinsi alivyowapinga njiani. Jinsi alivyowapinga njiani hapo walipopanda kutoka Misri. Unapotoka katika mateso. When you come out of suffering. Unakwenda katika baraka. You are going to blessing. Hapa njiani hapa. On the way. Ndugu zangu, kuna mapambano. There are attacks. Adui zako hawapendi ufiki katika hatima yako. They don't like you to arrive into your destiny. Hapa njiani kuna vipinga mizi. There are obstacles. 
na vipinga vinzi vingine vipinga mizi vingine ni vya kichawi 100% oh kila kipinga mizi cha kichawi mbele yako leo kia yuke kwa kama upepo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo kila kipinga mizi cha uchawi mbele yako leo kiharibiwe kwa jina la Yesu Kristo vipinga mizi unapoenda kupata watoto when you're going to get children unapokaribia amani yako vipinga unapokaribia when you're near upendo wa dhati kwenye familia vipingamizi kushikana mikono when you start holding hands with your loved ones that is when obstacles come wengine wanaahidi wasema tutaona kama wataendelea kama watatamba bila yeye see if they will rock before us wanatupa mapepo ya mafarakano wanatupa uchai wa mafarakano they are throwing witchcraft of conflict ghafla watu walikuwa wanashikana kwa upendo wanakwenda wanaanza kuchokiana they start hating each other wanaanza kufarakana they start having What's happened? And you're asking, Nini kimetokea? Kuna kitu gani hawa watu? What ha- is Walikuwa within this people? Pomoja, they were Nini kimetokea? What has happened? Kuna watu wamejificha kwenye mapango. There are people that are hiding in caves. Wanarusha. They are throwing concrete. Wanarusha mafarakano. They are throwing concrete. Nasema leo kila mafarakano yakae juu yao wenyewe. Stay upon them. Kila ubaya ukae juu yao wenyewe. Kila fitina ikae juu yao wenyewe. They should stay upon themselves. Usinifundishe kazi. Do not teach me the word. Mmoja akasema, "Hasa prophet maombi gani hayo?" What type of prayer is that? Back to the sender. Any arrow back to the sender. Ndio. Mshale kwa. Narudisha kwa aliye utuma huo mshale. I'm sending it back to the one who has sent it. Si upeleke sehemu nyingine. I'm not taking it anywhere else. Alikuwa analenga, si alikuwa analenga kwako. He was aiming, he was aiming. Alikuwa anamaanisha nini? What did he mean? Alikuwa analenga kwako, anasema ama zako ama zake. Alikuwa anataka kutungue uanguke. Akutungue ufe, akutungue akumalize. Sasa urudi kwake yeye mwenyewe. Now you should go back to him. Urudi kwake yeye mwenyewe. To him. That is my prayer today. That is my prayer today. You will not bury anybody in your house. How does he come to your yote nyumbani kwako? Aliyekuambia kwamba wewe ni wa maombolezo. You are the one that told you. You're the one of money. Wewe utakuwa mgane. You be a widow. Makofiwa na 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 mkeo. That your wife would die. Wewe utakuwa mjane maana mgane. A widow ni mwanamume aliyefiwa na is a man that his wife Mjane, a widow mwanamke aliyefiwa na mume is a woman that the husband has died hautakuwa mgane wala hautakuwa mjane you won't be a widow or a widow hautakuwa mgane wala hautakuwa mjane you won't be a widow na watoto wako watakuwa yatima kwa jina la Yesu Kristo in the name of Jesus Christ hutakula matunda ya wanao kiwa mzee hutaona baraka za wanao kwa macho yako hutaona mafanikio ya wanao kwa macho yako na kila mishale iliyotumwa kwa familia yako ile jeri kutoka ile jeri kutoka to where it came from soka karaba yelesis Uwe hai. Be alive. Uwe hai. Be alive. Uwe hai. Be alive. Nasikia upako? I feel anointing. Nasikia nguvu ya ajabu, lazima utashinda. I feel strength. You must conquer. Lazima utashinda. You must conquer. Ninawaombea adui zako waanze kutubu. Waanze kutubu yumkini rehema za Bwana zikae juu yao. The grace of the Lord be upon them. Na wasipotubu wataangamia ama kwa hakika. Surely Kama Bwana anasema nimezingatia moyoni mwangu. I considered in my heart. Namna ambavyo wa Amaleki walivyowapinga njiani when you are coming out of Egypt the Lord has hold that who are your Amalekites that are obstructing on the way who are they you will see them today Mungu wangu anakwenda kujibu kwa moto. My God is going to answer by fire. Nasema Mungu wangu anakwenda kujibu kwa moto. My God is going to answer by fire. Kwa moto. By fire. Sasa now uchawi witchcraft 
ni kutaka kuwa na nguvu is wanting to have power za ziada extra power bila kujikabidhi kwa Mungu without giving yourself to God ni kutaka kuwa na nguvu za ziada is wanting to have extra power bila kujikabidhi without giving yourself kwa Mungu. to the Lord ni kutaka kuwa na nguvu za ziada is to want to have extra power bila kujikabidhi kwa Mungu without giving yourself to God lakini ni uasi but it is rebellion unaoambatana that goes with na tamaa desire au shauku the last or desire kwa mchezaji wa kiroho to a prayer of the spirit mm. kuna mchezaji wa kiroho there is a player of the spirit anafanya michezo ya kiroho he plays spiritually kama wale wana mazingaombwe as those magicians Nasema tena ni uasi unaoambatana tamaa that goes with last au shauku kwa mchezaji wa kiroho to a player in the spirit lakini ni uongo wa kishetani but it is the devilish lie uchawi ni uongo witchcraft is lie of the devil narudia i repeat uchawi ni kutaka kuwa na nguvu za ziada is to want to have extra power bila kujikabidhi without giving yourself to god ni uasi it is rebellion unaoambatana na tamaa that goes with lust au shauku or the passion kwa mchezaji wa kiroho to a player in the spirit ni uongo wa kishetani it is the devilish lie sasa uchawi unafanyaje kazi now how does witchcraft work Uchawi unafanyaje kazi? How does witchcraft work? Uchawi unafanya kazi Witchcraft works katika misingi ya uongo. In the foundation of lies. Uchawi unafanya witchcraft kazi works katika misingi ya uongo. In the foundations of lies. Misingi ya uongo The foundation of lies. Ndio inayo operate shughuli za kichawi. The ones that operate the witchcraft programs. Kwa nini inafanya kazi katika misingi ya uongo? Why does it work in the foundations of lies? Kwa sababu because mfalme wa uchawi the king of, la- of witchcraft ni shetani. is the devil. Na shetani and the devil ndio baba wa uongo. Is the father of lies. Ndio muasisi wa uongo. He is the founder of lies. Ndio. Mwanzilishi wa uongo. The founder of lies. Kwa hiyo now mawakala wote all the agents wa shetani of the devil wachawi witches waganga wa Kenya wanatumia nguvu za giza doctors and those who use the power of darkness hawawezi kusimama katika kweli cannot stand in the truth watasimama katika uongo they will stand in lies kama vile bosi wao like their boss kama vile baba yao like their father shetani the devil alivyo muasisi wa uongo how is the founder of lies kitabu cha Yohana sura ya 8 the book of john chapter 8 mstari wa 44 verse 44 hadi 45 to 45 Yohana sura ya 8 John chapter 8 44 to 45 Maandiko yanasema The word reads Yohana sura ya 8 John chapter 8 Yohana mtakatifu 44 to 45 Ninyi baba yenu Ibilisi na tamaa za baba yenu ndizo mpendazo kuzitenda. Ninyi na baba yenu ibilisi na tamaa za baba yenu ndizo mpendazo kuzitenda. Yeye alikuwa muwaji tangu mwanzo. Wala hakusimama katika kweli. Kwa kuwa hamna hiyo kweli ndani yake. Asemapo uongo husema yaliyo yake mwenyewe manake sio ya Mungu usema yaliyo yake mwenyewe kwa sababu yeye ni mwongo na baba wa huo 45 nami kwa sababu nasema iliyo kweli hamnisadiki Yesu anasema hivi Shetani hawezi kuwa mkweli the devil cannot be a the true person na msingi wa kichawi and the foundation of huko katika uongo is in lies unafanya fanyaje kazi uchawi how does it work as witchcraft it is in lies amen 
Lakini uongo huu but that lie unapoutendea kazi when you work on it unapouamini when you believe unapouogopa when you fear it unakuletea madhara it brings effects unakuletea madhara it brings effects ujikutana mchawi when you wish meet a witch akakwambia he will tell you wewe kijana kesho hutamka you, you won't wake up tomorrow alafu ukatoka unatembea and you go out walking ameniambia kabisa he has told me completely you may die before even the morning comes you must know that witchcraft there are two types of them there is witchcraft of words and of action the witchcraft of words of speaking words I have been speaking evil words there is the one of action the utensils are used the ones of the words he speaks upon you you don't wake up that's why you're bankrupt. You're being Unakufa. Bankrupt. You're dying. Unakufa. You're Unchawi. dying. That is witchcraft. Ule wa vitendo, the one of action. Lazima afanye kitu. He must do something. He must take a goat and slaughter. He take hivi. blood and do that. He should take a chicken and slaughter. Hivi. And surround them like that. Wa, 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 wa he should take a tail of the animal. He should take the skin of paka. the chicken over Awa the cat. Atupo nyumbani kwako. Chance be put and, and be thrown at your home. Oh hi. Be alive. Sasa uchai wa vitendo kumbuka nimekuambia msingi wake uchai wote ni uongo. Remember the foundation is lies. Na wakijua and when they know ni mtu uliyechawa na hofu sana. You are a person that is filled with fear. Unaweza kukumaliza. They may finish you up. Oh hi. Be alive. Oh hi. Be alive. Oh hi. Be alive. Ni muhimu kufahamu it is important to know kama shetani if the devil ni muongo is a liar na anaitwa baba wa, wa uongo and he's called the father of lies lakini anaitwa ni baba wa dunia hii but he's called the father of this world kwa sababu ya tamaa zake because of his lust it is important to know that those in this world their wisdom is lies the wisdom of the people the wisdom of the people without God the wisdom of those who are led by witchcraft and power of darkness is lies is lies and lies it is the cost of getting the power of the devil. I repeat. Uongo lies. It is the cost of getting the power of the devil. I want the power from the devil. The cost is lies. Amen. Yakobo sura ya 3 James chapter 3 mstari wa 14 verse 14 hadi 15 to 15 Yakobo 3 James chapter 3 14 verse 14 hadi 15 to 15 Biblia inasema The Bible reads Lakini mkiwa na wivu wenye uchungu na ugomvi mioni mwenu msijisifu wala msiseme uongo juu ya kweli hekima hiyo sio ile ishukayo kutoka juu bali ni ya dunia ya tabia ya kibinadamu na shetani hekima gani hekima ya uongo wisdom the wisdom of lies narudia tena kusoma andiko hayo hapa nazim mstari wa 13 on verse 13 Yakobo 3:13 James 3:13 Ni nani aliye na hekima na ufahamu kwenu na aonyeshe kazi zake kwa mwenendo wake mzuri katika upole wa hekima lakini mkiwa na wivu wenye uchungu na ugomvi mioyoni mwenu msijisifu wala msiseme uongo juu ya kweli wala msiseme uongo Do not speak juu lies ya kweli upon the truth hekima hiyo sio ile ishukayo kutoka juu bali ni ya dunia 
ya tabia ya kibinadamu na ya shetani hekima ya uongo the wisdom of life is of the devil kumbuka shetani remember the devil ndio baba wa uongo is the father of lies shetani hana kweli the devil has no truth na kama hana kweli and if he has no truth anayependa uongo he loves life maana yake amevaa hekima ya ibilisi means is wearing the wisdom of the devil amevaa hekima ya shetani is wearing the wisdom of the devil amevaa hekima ya kidunia is wearing the worldly wisdom hekima ya kidunia the worldly wisdom ni uongo is lies na gharama ya nguvu ya shetani and the cost of the power of the devil is lies gharama ya nguvu za giza the cost of the power of darkness is lies kuwa mwongo to be a liar pata nguvu za giza get the power of darkness kuwa mwongo be a liar pata nguvu za shetani get the power of the devil full stop full stop ndio hekima that is the wisdom dunia. of the world hekima ishukayo juu that comes from above hekima ishukayo mbinguni kwa mungu the wisdom that comes from heaven from god ni ukweli is the truth ni ya kweli is the truth Mungu anasema kweli. God speaks the truth. Mungu hana uongo. God has no lie. Hello. Uwe hai. Be alive. Uwe hai. Be alive. Uwe hai. Be alive. Uwe hai. Be alive. Sasa. Now. Wana wa Israeli. The children of Israel. Walipokuwa wanatoka Misri. When they were coming out of Egypt walipambana na hekima nyingi za kidunia kwa nyakati zile in those times zilizokuwa zinasukumwa na nguvu za giza ambazo zilisimamiwa na waganga na watai wa misri lolote ambalo anything that nabii mkuu the chief prophet musa moses alifanya did hiyo yeye mwenyewe au kupitia msaidizi wake hekima ya wachawi the wisdom of which of lies na yenyewe ilifanya kazi mbele ya farao it worked before pharaoh ili kumtia farao moyo mgumu so as to harden pharaoh's heart of not believing mambo ambayo mungu anayafanya kwa watu wake is doing to his people ili kumtia farao moyo mgumu so harden pharaoh's heart wa kutokumwamini Mungu aliyemtuma Musa kwenda kuwakomboa na Waisraeli kutoka Misri akikuuliza farao huyo Mungu ni nani hata nimwamini who is that god that i believe in angusha fimbo chini say put your stick down itageuka nyoka and it to turn a snake into a snake akisema ndio nano yeye mwambie jina lake anaitwa Niko ambaye Niko. His name is I am that I am. Niko ambaye Niko amenituma sasa kwa. I am that I am has sent me right now. Kwa wangu ruhusa ili waende wakanitumikie. That they go and serve me. Wakati Musa anaangusha fimbo mbele ya Farao. Moses was putting this road down before Farao. Anaangaika. He was struggling. Ni nini hii? What is this? Zuea si sasa sete madhara nyoka. He doesn't bring this. Nitakupa ruhusa haraka. I'll give you permission quickly. Mungu ameshamwambia shika huyo nyoka kwenye mkia. Say so hold that snake in the tail. Kwenye mkia. He held the tail. Anabadilika na kwa fimbo. And he turned into a rod. Lakini bado farao. But still pharaoh. Anasema no. He said no. Nina watu wangu. I have my people. Nina wachawi wangu. I have my witches. Nina waganga wangu. I have my witch doctors. Akamwambia join ni wenye hekima watu wa Misri. Come all with those. Huyu anatuteza. Amwezi kufanya kitu kama hiki. You cannot do something like this. Na wenyewe wakaanza kufanya mbilinge mbilinge zao. They doing it. Wakaanza na wenyewe kufanya chupili chupili. Alafu na wenyewe wanatupa fimbo chini. And they threw the road down. Nyoka na anatokea. And the snake appeared. Anatokea nyoka. When the snake appeared. Au anatokea nyoka za fimbo za kichawi. Oh the snake of the witch crafts sticks. Mungu anamwambia Musa na wewe angusha. And God told Moses put down your stick. Anaangusha. And he put it down. Alafu nyoka ya Musa. And the snake of Moses. Inaanza kumeza fimbo za wachawi. Started swallowing the witches. Inaanza kumeza nyoka za wachawi. Started swallowing the snakes of the witches. Inakula nyoka za wachawi. Hii inamaanisha kwamba siku zote nguvu za kichawi za uongo haziwezi kufua dafu mbele za Mungu wetu wa kweli. Kila mchawi aleleta vita mbele yako leo amezwe kwa jina la Yesu. Leo amezwe kwa jina la Yesu. Leo amezwe kwa jina la Yesu. Today in the name of Jesus. Hata siku moja even a single day uongo hauwezi kushinda ukweli it cannot conquer the truth 
Uongo huwezi kushinda ukweli. Na leo wewe kama mwana wa Mungu, unisimama katika kweli, uongo wa shetani lazima uwekwe peupe. Lazima uwekwe wazi. Hawa wanao kuzunguka zunguka kama wazuri. Wanao kupeti peti kama wazuri. Kume na nia wana hila. Wanataka kuangamiza. Wanataka kumaliza. They want to finish you off. Walale wenyewe. They should aid themselves. Walale wenyewe. Wapote wenyewe. They should be lost themselves. Wangamie wenyewe. They shall be destroyed themselves. Sema wangamie wenyewe. They shall be destroyed themselves. Sema tena wangamie wenyewe. Sema achia familia yango. Let go of my family. Kitabu cha kutoka sura ya saba. The book of Exodus chapter seven. Angalia mfano wa wachawi. This is an example of the witches. Nyakati za Biblia. In the times of the Bible. Pale Misri. In Egypt. Mfano wa wachawi nyakati za Biblia pale Misri. Examples of the witches in the times of the Bible in Egypt. Kutoka sura ya saba. Exodus chapter seven. Kumi na nne adi shatatu. Verse fourteen to twenty-three. Kutoka Exodus sura ya saba chapter seven kumi na nne mstari verse fourteen adi shina tatu to twenty three tasoma kwa jina la Yesu. I read in the name of Jesus. Bana kama mbia Musa moyo wa Farao ni mzito anakata kuapa watu rusa wa endesao mwenye Farao asubui tasama atoka kwenye majini. Na wewe mama karibu na karibu na ufuo wa mto ili upate kuona na naye. Na ile fimbo iliyogeuzwa kuwa nyoka utaichukua mkononi mwako. Nawe umwambie Bwana Mungu wa Weblania amenituma nije kwako kusema wape watu wangu ruhusa ili wapate kunitumikia jangwani. Nawe tazama hujasikia hata sasa kumi na saba Bwana akasema katika jambo hili utanijua ya kuwa mimi ndimi Bwana tazama nitayapiga hayo maji yaliyo mtoni kwa fimbo hii nilionayo mkononi mwangu nayo yatageuzwa kuwa damu na hao samaki walio mtoni watakufa na huo mto utatoa uvundo na wa Misri watachukizwa kuyanywa maji ya mtoni Bwana akamwambia Musa mwambie Haruni shika fimbo yako kaunyoshe mkono wako juu ya maji ya Misri juu ya mito yao juu ya vijito vyao na juu ya maziwa ya maji yao na juu ya visima vyao vyote vya maji ili yageuke kuwa damu nako kutakuwa na damu katika nchi yote ya Misri katika vyombo vya mti na katika vyombo vya jiwe Musa na Aruni wakafanya hivyo kama Bwana alivyowaambia naye akainua ile fimbo na kuyapiga maji yaliyokuwa mtoni mbele ya Farao mbele ya watumishi wake na hayo maji yote yaliyokuwa katika mto yakageuzwa kuwa damu hao samaki waliokuwa mtoni nao wakafa na ule mto ukatoa uvundo wa Misri wasipate kunywa maji ya mtoni na ile damu ilikuwa katika nchi yote na Misri lakini waganga angalia hapo mstari wa 22 lakini waganga wa Misri wakafanya mfano wa hayo kwa uganga wao na moyo wake farao ukawa mgumu wala hawakuwasikiza kama Bwana alivyonena Farao akazunguka zunguka na kuingia nyumbani mwake wala hata hilo hakuliweka moyoni. Wa Misri wote wakachimba chimba kando ya mto ili wapate maji ya kunywa maana hawakuweza kuyanywa yale maji ya mtoni. Zikatimia siku saba baada ya Bwana kuupiga ule mto. Naomba uniangalie. Angalia 22 vizuri. Look at verse 22 well. Lakini waganga wa Misri wakafanya mfano wa hayo kwa uganga wao mfano wa hayo aliyofanya Musa examples of that what Moses Mungu God anampa masi wake ishara he gave his anointed one signs 
ya kimiujiza that were miraculous ili that adui apate kuamini the enemy can believe kwamba asipoamini atapigwa he doesn't believe you be attacked huyu mtu ametumwa this person is sent anamwambia chukua fimbo ili ile don't take the same road ambayo ilijua kuwa nyoka that would turn to just snake go and hit the waters yote ya misiri kwenye visima kwenye mabwawa kwenye mto nile piga maji yote hit all the water yageuke yawe damu that it turns into blood samaki wafe the fish will die kutoke uvundo nchi nzima and the whole nation will stink ili wapate kuamini mruhusiwe mpate kuondoka that they believe that the people will go musa moses anaambiwa was told mwambie aruni achukue fimbo yake tell him to take his thing tell him to hit all the places alipoenda akapiga yale maji when he went and hit the water the nation changed kawa na uvundo there was stink farao akawa na moyo mgumu and farao was hardened in the heart he didn't ondoku. want to allow the people of god to go anaweka vipingamizi he had put obstacles anaweka upinzani he had put opposition asema na mimi na wachawi he says i have wished na waganga njoeni waganga wa misiri come all the witch daughters is of egypt asema pigeni maji tena he said hit the water again mandiko asema wakafanya kwa mfano ule ule they did by the same example of moses waganga the witch daughters wanaweza kuigiza katika uongo wao they can act in your life but jambo halisi it's not a real thing wanaweza wakafunika funika vitu lakini sio halisi wakafanya kwa mfano ule ule doing by the same example moyo wa farao ukawa mgumu the heart of pharaoh was hardened kumbe nina watu bwana said i have people lakini kumbe alikuwa anadanganywa he was being deceived ilikuwa sio kweli it was not the truth ni vini macho ni mazinga ombwe it was just major ya mungu ndio ilikuwa ya kweli the one of god was true moyo ukawa mgumu and the heart was hard watu wakaanza kuangaika wapatatu majisikeni kwa mbele kitu kimoja let me tell you one thing idealishi mganga au mchawi amefanya vitimbi kiasi gani kwenye maisha yako amefanya vituko kiasi gani kwenye maisha yako ameleta athari kiasi gani katika maisha yako kila athari aliyoileta kwako mchawi au mganga leo naifuta kwa jina la Yesu leo naifuta kwa jina la Yesu leo naifuta kwa jina la Yesu mahali popote inapokuwa kia sauti hii na mahali popote ulipokaa iwe huko Tanzania au nje ya Tanzania huko WRM nje ya WRM siku ya leo nasimama kama nabii wa Bwana ninaamuru kila upayo wa adui yako urejee ulikotoka urejee ulikotoka urejee ulikotoka